Uh, this is called Wistful, Wishful Thinking. When I watch TV, I wish it was watching me. I know I'd be a big star, microwaving my meals, eating cereal I hate, sewing buttons on backward, talking to my mom, throwing my phone away, stop paying rent, being evicted, watching my stuff being thrown out, walking down the street wearing everything I own. I miss TV. End of story. She said, I love you. I said, which weekend? She said, you don't own a car. I said, I drink too much wine. She said, all you think about is yourself. I said, yeah. <laughs> this is called the Burrow Edge. My liver can see trouble coming a block away and sits there like a know-it-all, not saying a word. My love-struck building stares longingly at the corner, but the upper-class new buildings turn their heads at such riffraff, even though we both purr. This is called My Block. I've been an eyesore on my block for the last week, even though I've lived there for the last 22 years. I asked, what's up with that? They said, we've never seen you before. <laughs> this is called That'll Be the Day. Her mid-twenties were like color pencils that needed sharpened. Her thirties were like a welcome mat that was never in front of her door. She was changing a flat tire along a freeway in Arizona when she was hit by a truck and died. My memory of her is like threading a needle on a subway car with Buddy Holly playing loudly in the news. This is called the closest closet. The toilet paper in my apartment sometimes outnumbers me. I guess I'm not always up to no good. <laughs> This is called grocery list. I roll my thoughts in postage stamps. I eat now and then. I never look out for myself. She wants to play pool on Thursday, the only day I have nothing to do. It seems I'm contrary, it seems. Um, this is called train the nurse on duty. This does not pass for poetry. Poetry is read aloud in coffee shops and high heels or low in Edgar Allan Poe's house or not at all. The first time I slept with a girl, I thought I can never eat my mother's mashed potatoes again. <laughs> the second time I slept on a train, I was standing on the 83rd floor of my new walk-up. No one can see me. Good. This is called Barbara. Except the times she was in the library, she was having sex. The only problem is I only run into her in the library. <laughs> this is called He Lies About His Age. Everything was going great, then she said she wanted kids. He said, but I'm 60. She said, you're 60? He said, uh-oh. <laughs> This is called The Latest. I had a dream last night with a laugh track about two young con men driving motorized, motorized toy vehicles. Woody Harrelson, circa Cheers, was the leader or at least the one who talked the most and had a plan. The other guy wasn't specific but was the eager beaver and drove a toy Jeep while Woody drove a semi sitting on the trailer. They drove through empty parking lots while Woody belittled the other guy for falling for one of my old girlfriends. The laugh track loved Woody's swipes at her physical appearance and gullibility, and even though I watched the whole thing asleep, I bled just a little. Um, wish list. My upstairs neighbors have a three-year-old, and I wish they would teach her how to walk. I mean, I know she can run and scream and jump up and down and shout and gallop from room to room like a herd of wild ponies, but man, do I wish they would teach her how to walk. 
Wow. New York story. <laughs> um, let's see. The finger pointing ends here. The finger pointing ends. The finger painting can't. The fingers are digits. Fingerprints lie. My coworker told me, as a lesbian, her fingers are her penis. Same here. <laughs> this is um. This is called uh, the facts, ma'am. Buddy Holly was 22. Jean Michel Basquiat was 27. Otis Redding was 26. Richie Valens was 17. Sharon Tate was 26. Jimi Hendrix was 27. Jack Benny was funny. Gina Davis is tall. John Candy was fat. Paul McCartney's uncle was clean. Me, and for most of my life, I've been here. They say you can't make this shit up. I just did. Thank you. This is called The Fiddler. She'll be glad when I'm dead. Then we can be friends again. <laughs> she won't have me around a reminder of all the bad times, of the money she borrowed and never paid back, of friending my friends and unfriending me, of broken plans and careless promises. Yeah, she'll be glad when I'm gone. Now she can just convince the landlord she's supposed to be on the lease. <laughs> Who knows? And the New York Times, he said reading books made him hopeful for the future, like he had one. So he doesn't read anymore, but he knows every porn site online. Once again, masturbation becomes a metaphor for giving up. Hmm, maybe, probably. Even when your girlfriend's white, you can hate, you can hate white people. Or write ransom letters and accuse me of holding you hostage. Mm, maybe, probably. This is the last one. This is called Pigeons. Rats with wings, shit for brains, evolution's remorse. If you startle one, they don't fly, they run. Like a bowling ball wobbling, wobbly heading for the gutter on legs meant for an ant. Pigeon pleasure or humiliation. I saw a pigeon on a third floor fire escape shit on a pigeon on a second floor fire escape. Thank you very much.